Hello, so happy you could join me again today. It's a beautiful day here. I hope it's a beautiful day wherever you're at. What I got going on here today is a pre-stretched canvas, 16 by 20. And the bottom portion here I painted with a coat of black gesso and a very thin coat of liquid clear. And on the top here I covered it with a thin coat of liquid white. That kind of gets it all prepared. I thought maybe I'd do a, a wave, maybe ocean, who knows. I'm just going to go as I go and see what we come up with. So any information and all the colors that come across the screen right about here that you'll need to paint along with me. So let's get started. I'm going to use some, get some purple color going. Lizarin Crimson and some Prussian Blue for the sky. I want to make it a purple color, darker, darker bluish. I think that'd be good. That'd be good for our sky color. And just load it up on the two inch brush on both sides. Just tapping it, just like that. I'm going to start out in the corners. Crisscross strokes. A little bit more color. Darker. Maybe right across the top there. Darker there. Get it going. And by blending them right on your paintbrush, is all the colors happen right on the canvas. And you don't have to do anything. And that's the good thing about it. It all blends in. You got all the different colors that you would see in the sky. Using a circular motion down here with the liquid white that's already on there. And I'm going to pull that up into the sky color. And right there you got some purple. Purple in the sky, you got some blue, just like you would see in the sky. And you're going to leave some areas in here. And don't color, don't blend it all in. And you get all that stuff happening. Where there's things happening in the sky. All the darker colors and who knows, maybe there's Maybe there's a storm coming. Just like that. Here and there. There and here. All the way down. Just like it would get in nature. Down closer to the horizon. It gets lighter. I'm knocking some of this excess off. Because I don't want to pick up too much of the paint. I just want to blend it in now. Get all kinds of things happening here. Just the way you might see it. Just like that. Maybe, maybe I see just a little bit in here that's a little bit too... Just like that. Cleaning this bl blender brush off. I'm using odorless paint thinner, which is always a good thing. Knock the excess off. Now, I'm going to take a fan brush, go into some white, liquid white, titanium white. And I'm going to come in and get some of that purple color of the sky. It's almost going to make it look like a, a gray color. Just like that. I'm going to come in here and tap in some clouds, I think. Just like that. Just 
Just getting all kinds of different things happening here. Goes right up where that light area is. Maybe have some in distance here. Just like that. Grab some more color. Maybe we got some happening back here. Just like that. I'm going to come in and highlight this with some white. And it's going to bring it all out and get you that that look of the sky. Some more of the darker color. Just like that. Clouds, they got all kinds of things happening. No set pattern or no certain way. Whatever you think. Clouds, they just happen. Getting some more darker color. The purples. Boy, that's a mean cloud coming in. We'll lighten that up a little bit. Right across here. And as the clouds go, they get further and further back all the way. Just barely tapping with the corner of the brush. Get all kinds of things happening in this one. Just like that. Could have cleaned that fan brush off. They go into some white now. Titanium white, liquid white. Gonna highlight some of the, just like that. Highlight some of the areas where we think there might be some clouds, white clouds. Turn the brush over. Grab some more white. Just tapping it. Just here and there. Wherever you might think there's a big, fluffy, white cloud. Maybe it's right there. Who knows? Maybe it goes back into there. Got all kinds of things happening. I see it right here. Just here and there and there and here. Maybe you can even put some back here. Take the blender brush now and just tap it in 
and kind of diffuse it. Kind of blend it in. Give that look. All kinds of little things happening. All I'm doing is tapping it. Maybe that goes up there. Maybe that comes down. Just taking off that sharp edge. All the way down. this be dark down here. Looks pretty good. Cleaning the blender brush off again. Don't want to get too much of that extra colors in there. Okay, got that going on. going to take a two inch brush. We're going to mix up some ocean color, leather and crimson, and ocean color we're going to mix up is phthalo green and phthalo blue. Phthalo green, phthalo blue. Try to get a bluer hue to it. Mix it right up. Take the excess off. Clean the two inch brush. Knock the excess like that. Load it up on both sides. A lot of color here with this. Just like that. I'm going to come in and scrape in leaving a gap in between here where we might see the reflection of this the water. Leave an area here where you're going to have your waves. That way you don't have to worry too much about the green color getting into your wave. Leave it right there. Just go across. Just like that. I want to bring in a lot of green because I want it really to pop as soon as you put the white on there, it's really going to stand out. And that's what we're looking for. Gonna get some brown color now. What we want to do is make some sandy areas. Get that highlight going. Cadmium yellow, Van Dyke brown. I'm gonna load it right up on this paintbrush that I used the white on. We're going to come in here and put our beachy area. Maybe it goes all the way across. Just like that.
highlight it. Grab some more yellow, grab some yellow. And some white. Just gonna tap some of that in there. Take the blender brush, pull it up. All the way. And light, they go across. Already you got some something happening down there for the water. Okay, we're going to take this fan brush, come into some white, just a little white, titanium white, liquid white, just like that. We're going to come in and start tapping some areas for our water. Tapping all the way across the horizon. Get that watermark. All the way. Not too much white. Just using the corner of the brush. Just like that. Maybe right in here we might have some light. Reflections. I'm going to add a little bit more color here. A little bit more white. Turn the fan brush over. Getting more of the whiter, whiter spots there. Just like that. using my hand underneath my other one like this kind of gives me balance where I can stay off of the canvas kind of helps little tricks of the trade I'm just trying to make this look rough all kinds of things happening, waves coming in. Maybe right in this area here. I'm just tapping and trying to create And what it might look like out in the ocean when you're viewing it from the beach. Get all kinds of lighter, darker, maybe where some waves are crashing in way out there.
kind of time consuming a little bit but I think when you're done you will like the effect that this has add a little bit more weight because you want to highlight this in here get a little bit whiter in there almost like it's glistening listening all in there turn the brush over starting to be a wave coming in right there all along there you want to keep it as straight as possible because if you don't it look like your water is falling off your canvas and we don't want that to happen so you want to try to keep a straight eye Tapping it, tapping it. Getting all kinds of different things happening. You get all kinds of looks that you might see in the ocean just by tapping. Getting some different watermarks. Maybe where there's a wave coming in. Different waves. Here and there. kind of all over step back and take a look at it and see cleaning this brush off some come into some tight liquid white we're going to make one wave coming in here maybe just across like that maybe it goes just like that crashing right down and maybe we'll take this other fan brush we're going to pull back here look that's the look that you would see 
leaving that space in between the other ones. Looks like it's coming in. Coming in and picking up some of the waves. Now we'll put the big wave in. Titanium white on the same fan brush, and we'll determine on where we want our wave to be. I think we'll have it come right in, right in here. Just the corner of the brush. Maybe right here. Just like that. A little bit more white. We're going to use that to foam it up. Take that, just like that. Come in. Just like we did the waves in the back. Excess off, put in some more white. Just tapping this edge here. Just like that. Where it would be coming down. Get this filbert brush, load in some yellow and some liquid clear. We're going to scrub in the eye of the wave. Right there. Leave that black. That black on that edge. Right there. Because that's what you want. Right there along the top. I'm loading up some white now. here too, just a little bit. like 
that with the fan brush we're going to pull down from this wave part I'm going to tap this over here because then I'm going to pull this down the angle of the wave taking the white from the top of the wave like that where it's coming in this comes out a little bit more like that because that's just the way the waves the way it works that's some all kinds of things happening Pretty good. More liquid white on the brush. We'll come back here and tap in. The high spot of the wave. like that where you got some things happening there Gonna come in two inch brush I'm gonna put in some fogging foaminess let the brush out just like that I'm gonna come in and tap some of this in here Maybe where the waves are crashing over. Just like that. We're starting to tumble. Having some more paint. Just touching up with this. Just touching up. A little bit more. Just tapping it along the bottom here while you might think. You got that edge going. We're starting to come in. Okay, we that got that going on. I'm gonna put some yellow in here. Highlight right where this right where that might be. Take the blender brush. Pull down, go across, maybe Let's highlight it some more. Maybe a little bit over here and there. like that. Keep that line going right across there. I 
that looks pretty good. I'm going to highlight some more. Right there. A little bit more, a little bit more. I think we're going to do that here. Deck low. Now, what we'll do is we'll come in with a damn brush. We're going to get some, we'll clean it off real quick and get some of the white. We're going to make a water line right at the bottom here. Right where all this is happening. Just tapping it on the bottom, right underneath it. Different angles. And where you might think the water would be splashing up. like that. Okay, we got that going on. This here I'm going to pull down a little bit more. up there. Just like that. Now I'm going to fill in behind this wave here. Because we got some things happening back there. It's a little bit too too much black there. I'm just going to tap it in and get some different things happening, different waves. So you don't have that big, all that stuff going on.
some things coming in there. I'll pull that back. Just like that. Take some more titanium white. Let's make this a little bit more. More like a More like it's breaking here. The waves are coming in. brown color and I'm going to put in a beach beach area Use a little bit of liquid clear. Vendike brown. Yellow ochre. I think over here we might have a beach. We do now. Right down, right down, and on the reflection. Have some more dark color, just like that. Just fill it in. Put some trees in. You just gotta tap down. Right down to the beach. out here and it goes back this way like some sometimes you see those trees palm trees are kind of crooked go on to some light color light brown white I'm going to highlight the tree the areas where we think the sun might be hitting it all the way up just tapping it Kind of 
here and there and there and here. I want to highlight that. Just enough. I'm just tapping it. Hope you can see that. Now we're going to get some green color. Halo green, sap green. And some liquid clear. Load it up on the fan brush, just like that. I'm going to come in and put some palms. like that. These are smaller strokes. Giving it a different look. Instead of making a the palms real wide. Making them smaller. Kind of gives it a different look. More like you'd see at the beach. Some of the palms at the beach, from being out there in the wind and the waves and the storms, might not be, might not be as thick. some of the other ones. So this is going to be just like that. Now we're going to take the two inch brush, we're going to load it up with some liquid white. Maybe some yellow, ochre yellow. Can I get a I want to get a sandy color. Beachy. Got to tap it and load it up on both sides. Just like that. Come in here and just tap it down. colors.
Pay close attention to the lay of the beach. Because you're going to have some areas like this. Maybe like this here. And it's going to give you give you that look that the beach, the sand is hilly. Got some hills in there. Just like that. Different areas where it's coming in. Cleaning the brush off, pick up some more of this color. Just tapping it. More white. beach coming down. Now let's put some, some greenery in. Maybe with some flowers or who knows. I'm pulling in with a green color And a two inch brush like that. We're going to tap in some some areas here. that we use for the beachy color. Cleaning it off. Got to get some reds. Some red color, I think. illusion of some maybe some red flowers popping in here oh who knows where maybe get some white make it a little bit brighter Yellow. 
be some yellow and white. happening there. Some lighter color. types of flowering bushes there. Come back into the blender brush. I'm going to blend some of this down here. Just like that. That kind of softened it some. And I think I'm going to go all the way down. Takes that edge off, and it gives it more of a look of the soft sand. Just like that. good. Now we're going to get into some black and white. Who knows, maybe I'll use that purple color. We'll put it into some seagulls. Liquid white. Purples. Black color. like that. Hope you can see that. We'll put a seagull right there, one here, one there. These will be close. 